Hi guys, this is Sajra Bedel and welcome to the Business Analysis Guide. This is part 5 of our elicitation series, How to Gather Requirements. In my last video, I had shown you how to gather requirements using the workshop technique. In today's video, I will show you the mind mapping technique. So let's get started. So mind mapping as a technique has its deep roots in the brainstorming technique. So what exactly is brainstorming? Well, if you get a group of experts in a room and ask them to share their ideas and thoughts on a particular topic, what you're doing is brainstorming. So brainstorming is basically a technique used to foster creative thinking. So as a business analyst, we do brainstorming on several locations, sometimes with the business, sometimes with the development team. So we might do brainstorming when our business is very unclear of what they want or to help them uh, create a feature list or user stories or to come up with various solution options that can be presented to the customer or to arrive on a best fit solution to the problem. Or maybe we are investigating an issue or defect. So brainstorming is a very widely used uh, technique uh, by business analysts all over the world. So as a result of brainstorming, a lot of ideas and thoughts are generated. So mind map provides a very effective tool to grow these ideas organically. You can visually structure your ideas, which helps you in further analysis and recall. So we'll see this in the next slide. So what, how exactly a mind map looks like? Well, this is the structure of the uh, mind map. So mind map has a central node, which is the subject or topic that is being discussed in the brainstorming session. And from the central node, there are several branches uh, that come out of the mind map. Uh, these branches are the ideas that are generated. Each of these ideas can further have sub ideas attached to it. So we look, take a look at this with the help of an example. Let's say your team is investigating a billing system failure. So the central node of the mind map will be the billing system failure. Coming out from the central node will be different branches, which will be the different ideas generated in the brainstorming session. So. These were the, this will be the different topics that you are going to discuss in the brainstorming session as to who detected and escalated the problem, who is responsible for firefighting, who gathers data. Similarly, the what node has what technology was used, what technologies were considered initially, what expertise is available in the team and how uh, the events led to the problem, how were the compatibility tests done, why wasn't the problem detected earlier. When was the problem first detected? So all of these are different ideas and thoughts that were generated in the brainstorming session. Now, a mind map is a very free flow diagram and you can use your own notations to show these branches. There is no hard and fast rule that you have to stick to the notations that you're seeing on the screen. There are various softwares or tools available in the market which uh, uh, allow you to draw a mind map very easily like MS Visio, uh, Visual Paradigm, and uh, Micro's mind map software. So to sum it up, mind map is a very effective tool which allows you to organize your thoughts and ideas uh, and allows you to add, further analyze these ideas in order to devise a plan. Okay, that's all for now. If you like this video, drop us a like, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. Thank you very much.